What is going on? What is going on, guys? Y'all know who it is. It is your boy Darion coming to you live with another video. It is the Silver and Black Podcast and Spotlight Sports Talk. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to this video here. And we here to do another Oakland Raiders video. And this is my personal video that I feel like these four players definitely need to improve in 2019 for the Oakland Raiders. So here is my four players that must improve and must be better in 2019. 2019 but before we get into all of that before we get into all that i would like for y'all to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time ever being on the channel so with that being said let's get straight into the first person who must be better in 2019 the first person that i do have on my list here of the four players that must be better in 2019 is the defensive lineman arden key now in the third round of the 2018 nfl draft the Oakland Raiders selected Arden Key out of LSU, and they did draft him specifically for a role in mind. At the time, Key was drafted on the roster where we had two elite veterans at his position in Khalil Mack and in Bruce Irvin, so the rookie would only have to play only in passing situations. However, Mack was traded before the season started, and before you knew, Irvin was on his way out of the silver and black. But at the same time, that meant for Arden Key to move up and play in a starting role. And while he had flashes of sometimes as a rookie, he was going to have he's going to have a much better 2019. Luckily, the new defensive line coach in Brinston Buckner is one of the best in the business, and he sees great things with Arden Key. Key role next season would likely be in a situation role where he could bet on him to get to the quarterback at least eight times. Again, if Key is more productive in year two, the defensive line is going to be something special. Now, the second Oakland Raiders player that must be better in 2019 is punter Johnny Townsend. Now, the Raiders rookie played a big role on the team last season as the coaching staff threw, in, threw them into the under the fire what kind of players that they had just to see if they could evaluate them and see what type of players they had going into the season. But one rookie who had a starting job from the start was punter Johnny Townsend who was tagged in replacing pro bowler Marquette King. After leading the NCAA in punting average, Townsend was installed into the starting punter in week one. And to say he had a rough rookie year, and, he, and it would be that would be an understatement. But Townsend never found his groove during the entire season in his position group where they should have been some competition in the summer. Oakland already brought in AJ Cole to battle with Townsend in the offseason. So I be, so believing that the team may kick you know, kick tires with King. However, if Townsend is the punter for the 2019 Oakland Raiders going into the season, he has to be better or else the team is going to seriously struggle at the field position, which we did last year in this past season. Now, the third person that I feel that needs to improve for the Oakland Raiders going into 2019 is Tyhere Whitehead, one of the biggest free agent acquisitions from the Oakland Raiders last year. It was the linebacker Tyhere Whitehead as he proved he proved to himself that to be a tackling machine during his time with the Detroit Lions, Whitehead was fresh off a second consecutive 100 tackle season in Motown and the expectations that would be very high for the leader of the linebacker group in Oakland. However, but Whitehead got off to a rough start with the silver and black, struggling in coverage and looking lost at times. However, from week 10 on, he became one of the better linebackers in the AFC, racking up tackles in bunches and finishing the year with over 100 tackles tackles for the third straight season his 126 tackles was the second highest total in his career in 2019 he would be expected to build his second half success oakland has built and brought a bunch of veterans for the linebacker group in 2019 including brandon marshall and vontaze Burfick. so this could be one of the better units that we have seen a while for the raiders and the linebacking core Last but not least, last but not least, this is the number four player that needs to be better in 2019, and that is offensive lineman Colton Miller, 
With their first round pick in 2018, the Raiders made a surprising selection adding UCLA's left tackle Colton Miller with the number 15 overall pick. However, it was not a reach within the organization as they really liked Miller as they showed when they was inserting him into the starting tackle as a rookie. In his rookie season, he was beaten he was beaten often, but mostly due to the fact that he was battling injuries. For much of the year, early in 2019 offseason, the Raiders brought in New England Patriots tackle Trent Brown to bolster the offensive tackle position, although he'll be moved to the right side, but the silver and black will be back. And I feel like with Miller's going to give a chance to hang at the left tackle spot in 2019, but that certainly is going to be something to keep an eye on this summer. You know, when he's healthy, he's shown that he could be the one of the best left tackles in the NFL. And now having Brown in the mix on the other side, the tackle spot is definitely something to improve over from last year. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. There are the four players who must be better in 2019, which is Tahir Whitehead, Johnny Townsend, Colton Miller, and last but not least, Arden Key. They are the four players that definitely have to improve on the uh, on their on their positions going into 2019 for the Oakland Raiders so let me know what you think about this video let me know who else needs to improve going into 2019 in the comments below comment like and subscribe to the channel it is the silver and black podcast and it is the spotlight sports talk thank y'all for tuning into this video and I see y'all in the next video peace